Behind the Chaos, Uncovering Nelson Chamisa's Role in CCC Party's Collapse. I am announcing his stepping down as leader of Citizens Coalition for Change CCC last month, former leader Mr. Nelson Chamisa pointed fingers at everyone for the chaos that rocked the beleaguered party except himself. This is despite the fact that it was there for everyone to see that the troubles that rocked the political party started right at Mr. Chimisa's doorstep making him the author of everything that went wrong in the political organization. Since the formation of CCC, there had been whispers within the party of a fallout between Mr. Chimisa and his two allies Professor Welshman Cube and Mr. Tendai Beatty. This week. Bulawayo Mayor CLR David Coltet in announcing that he won't be leaving his position like Mr. Chimisa and some legislators, confirmed the rift between the three. Long before Nelson Chimisa resigned I publicly expressed my sadness and regret about the apparent rift between Nelson Chimisa and Tendai Beatty and Welshman Cube. All three of these men are friends of mine with whom I have been in the trenches ever since the MDC was launched on the 11th of September 1999 said CLR Coltet. In order to alienate the two from any leadership positions, Mr. Chemisa reportedly avoided an elective Congress which only caused more problems in the opposition party. The lack of structures also resulted in the chaotic candidate selection ahead of last year's national polls where in some constituencies CCC fielded double candidates. That was not all. At the nomination court, some candidates failed to file their papers on time resulting in due to the party's chaotic systems. In Bulawayo for example, the ZANU-PF candidates for the provincial council were duly elected after the opposition party failed to submit its list on time. The chaos in the CCC also saw the emergence of Mr. Senjizo Chibengu who identified himself as the party's interim secretary-general before causing a number of recalls in parliament. The Senate and Councils. All this can be attributed to Mr. Chimisa's failure in leadership as he sought to pursue personal interest at the expense of the institution of the party. However, announcing his resignation from the embattled party, Mr. Chimisa made no mention of all these factors but opted to blame the ruling ZANU-PF for his problems. What is telling? However, is the decision by most of the CCC members of parliament and councillors who have decided against Mr. Chimisa's route of abandoning the party. It is clear to them as it is to the rest of Zimbabwe and indeed the world that no one but Mr. Chimisa destroyed CCC. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.